It's important to check the engine before the start and after the stop and conduct the related works in the order to keep it in good condition. I will explain part of the work. The first thing is explanation for the preparation before the start. Please bear in mind that you make careful preparation for the checking, particularly after overhaul of the engine or in restarting the engine after the stop over a long period. While turning with the lube oil priming pump in operation and with the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders open, confirm that lube oil is dripping from the valve rocker arm shaft, piston pin, crank pin, main bearing and swing arm. Then conduct air bleeding for lube oil strainer, fuel oil strainer, fuel pump, and so on. Further, lubricate by hand to the governor linkage and the control device and check that they are working smoothly. While moving the start-stop lever back and forth from the run to the stop position, confirm that the fuel injection pump rack, the first lever shaft of the governor linkage and the connecting rod are working smoothly. Check if the indicator needle of the governor control shaft indicates the graduation between 1 to 2. Also confirm that no part or tool has been left in the crankcase before restarting the engine after an overhaul. Check all bolts for tightness. If the valve mechanism was disassembled, use a feeler gauge to confirm the clearance between the suction and the exhaust valve heads. If fuel oil, cooling water, lube oil and others are pooled in the cylinder, it may lead to troubles such as water hammer or oil hammer, and it is dangerous. Therefore, conduct air running to prevent abnormalities. After turning is complete, return the turning gear to the detached position. Insert the stopper into the groove and fasten the bolt. Set the engine remote operating selector switch to the engine position. Set the start stop lever to the stop position and open the pressure indicator cocks on all cylinders. Press start switch for a few seconds to conduct air running. After finishing air running, close the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders. Set the start stop lever to the run position and prepare for the start.